Hey guys, welcome back and thank you very much for joining me on my new channel, the place where you'll find additional videos, bonus content, live streams, all related to my main Tech Doctor UK channel. Now today's video is all about wireless file transfer. Now, somebody left me a message uh, a week ago asking how can they send files from their iPhone? I think they're trying to download wallpapers which they can then use in the wolf launcher. So. In this video today, let me show you how you can send files wirelessly from your iPhone, from your PC, from your Android device, over to your Fire Stick, and you can even send files to your USB storage. So if you have a USB drive plugged into your Fire Stick and you want to transfer a movie that's on your PC or your phone, you can also do that as well. So please do take a moment to hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, Let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Okay, so most of you know the developer tools menu and it's a great application to see how much free memory we have, what your CPU is like, how busy your device is. Now the person that actually developed this application, he reached out to me to let me know about his other application, which is the send files to TV. So let's click on that now. Let's now click on install. And as we can just see in the background that we can use this application to send files directly to our internal storage, but also to any USB drive that we plugged in onto our Fire Stick. So let's open that up. Now, when you start this application for the first time, uh, let's click on got it. Let's now grant the permission. Let's click on allow. And we now just have two options. This thing here where it says Open File Explorer is actually a completely separate application, but it is fairly basic. So I would actually use an application like Explore or even Me Explorer versus this. But what we're interested in today is the actual wireless file manager. Now if I click on that now, and the first thing the application asks you is, which of your storages do you actually want to share out? Now by default, if you don't have any USB drive plugged in, all you see is this, which is your internal storage. This thing down here is actually my USB drive. But before we get to that, let's just start the internal storage. Let's click on that now. And what's happened now is, is this application has started a web server directly on your Fire Stick and it's now sharing out your internal storage. And that web server is currently listening on the IP address of 192.168.0.94, which is the IP address of my Fire Stick. So let me now jump over to my other machine. So here is another machine on my home network, but of course I could be using my cell phone, my iPad, my tablet, any device on my home network, I should be able to access my Fire Stick internal storage. So let's now open up a browser. And the address we're going to type in is the address of my Fire Stick on port 8080. So let's type that in 192.168.94. Was that 94? On port 8080. Let's click on that. And give that a second. And there we are, guys. We are now browsing the internal storage of my 4K Fire Stick. I can see all of the folders. I can click on these things here. I can see the contents of those folders. I can go back up one. Um, I can go to my downloader folder, which is down here. I can see some of the applications I've previously downloaded. And let's just say, for example, I want to uh, download one of these applications onto my actual computer or wherever I'm actually accessing this from. But if I click on one of these here, Let's go for Peacock TV, let's click on that. And as soon as I click on that, that actually pulls the application directly from my Fire Stick to my PC. And we can just now download it fine. And then similarly, if I want to add something back from my PC to the Fire Stick, I can just click on choose file here. Let's say for example, I'm looking for some nice wallpapers for my custom launcher. So we can see on my desktop over here. And let's just choose this one over here. Click on open, click on send. And that should then beam that file directly from my PC over the air onto my 4K Fire Stick's internal storage. Let's just jump over to my Fire Stick. Let's just see if that file came across. And if any of you guys are still here with me, then if you drop a like on this video and leave the comment hashtag extra, then I know you made it this far in this video, which I always appreciate. I'll then heart your comment. Let's see if we can actually find that file now. So let's go to uh, Launcher Settings, go to Wallpaper. 
because when you do beam a file to the internal storage, it does go to a particular folder, but we'll see what happens when we actually try and beam something to the USB drive. Let's go to select wallpaper. Let's go to internal storage. And that special folder for beaming anything to internal storage is actually inside the Android folder, then data. Let's now find this application. I believe it begins with IO. Here we are. Go to files. And there is the wallpaper there, guys. I can now click on that. Give that a second. And that should then apply in five, four. And there we are, guys. So that's an easy way we can get images or wallpaper or files from our PC and beam them over to our 4K Fire Stick. Okay, let's go back to the application so we can very easily download content and upload content to the internal storage. Now, before we jump over to my USB drive, one of the other things you can do on here is click on applications and then you can see all of the applications installed on your device on a single page. And we can see here, for example, I have 60 applications on my device. Now, the other cool thing you can do from here is actually start an application. So if I click on Downloader, Let's go back to my Fire Stick, and we can see that's then launched the application. Okay, let's now move on to USB storage because I know lots of you do use a USB drive on your Fire Stick to either expand the storage or in more cases to access media on that storage. Let's open up the Wireless File Manager. Now we can't make any changes to this while the web server is running. So if you do want to switch from internal storage over to USB or vice versa, we have to stop that web server first. So let's click on Stop. That's now stopped. Let's now click on start again. But this time I'm not gonna choose the internal storage, which is zero. I'm going to choose my USB drive. So let's click on that. And just like that, guys, we are now publishing or sharing out my USB drive, which I should then be able to access from any web browser on my home network. So let's test that out again. Let's just refresh the page. And there we are, guys. We can now see all of those folders, which are actually on my USB drive. So we can see some of my um, content in here. And if I want to watch something or download something, I can click on one of these here. And that's actually now streaming that content from my USB drive through the Fire Stick over to my web browser here. So I can now access that content on my USB drive, even though it's plugged onto my Fire Stick. Let's back out of that. And if I want to download this, I can just do a right click, select save target as or save link as. Let's click on save. And there we are guys, let's now pull that file from the USB drive and sent it over to my PC. Now, a typical use case for this is you want to transfer applications over the air, over to your USB drive, so you can then install them. So let's do that now. Let's go back to my USB drive. And let's say we now want to send an application file over to this USB drive. So let's say for example, we're browsing my website and we come to a downloads page. And let's say we want to download uh, this set orientation. Let's click on that. And let's now click on download. That's now all downloaded. Let's go back to our wireless file transfer. Let's now click on choose file. Let's select the application file, click on open, and let's now click on send. And here we can see it's created a brand new folder on my USB drive and then copied the application into it. Now, one great feature here is when you do want to install something remotely, I can now just click on this, open on TV, Let's now jump over to my Fire Stick and let's see what the Fire Stick sees. And here we see the prompt to install that new application. So even though it does copy it to a different folder on the USB drive, we can actually start that install process from the web browser. And that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. Many thanks for joining me on my first video on this new channel. And again, this channel will feature extra content, questions and answers from my previous videos, updates to new videos, and some extra bonus content. So please do hit that subscribe button with all notifications, and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.